Okay, I'm just at the motorcycle museum here. This is just down the street from Russ Brothers. You might have seen it on the show. Anyways, the owner won't let me video him. He's got stories on a lot of these bikes. It's a self-guided tour. He gives you this little microphone here that you can listen to and he'll tell you the story on the bikes. Anyway, I'll just do a quick walk through and show you guys all this stuff. This, this old Indian's really nice piece. And then you got this uh, bicycle here with a shaft drive, wooden rims, Pierce Arrow. Lots of really rare and old stuff in here. He's got the NRC 40 Honda here with an engine on display. It's a block. You can even go into his shop here. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna go into the shop and take a look at what he's working on. Hopefully he can elaborate a little bit. Maybe I can get him to give us some dialogue. So this, this one here, this old BSA is actually from the war and that piece of cardboard he said that's in the headlight is from the war to make a dimmer light so the planes couldn't see him, the bombers couldn't see him. It's got the acetylene generator for the headlight and tail light. And then he was telling us that it's got a wooden brake pad. Brake shoe kind of thing in the back. I guess the front's got a front brake too with shoe. Really interesting old stuff. But that one sat in the barn, he said, so that's a survivor bike. He hasn't done any restoration work on it. So that's really neat to see. But the one that's really interesting is just down the way here a little bit. Here's some more stuff stuff here triumphs so there's a story on every one of them that you can listen to don't think i got time to listen to every story but i'll listen to the ones that are most interesting looking it's an old triumph war bike here that looks like it's taken from a crate or something it's survivor harley davidson hill climber this thing's really cool it's got an sms engine in it 110 horsepower it said on the sign a plaque for it. It's this thing. Hummel 155, 1965. And then this, I really like this chopper here. So this one was apparently stored in the barn for quite a while until he got it, but it's got a turbo on it. Big scoop and stuff. It just looks really cool. I don't know what engine it's in. Built in 1975. It says all these curves in the frame were just built with Bondo. And you can see how they're kind of cracked a bit. So just a poor, I guess a cheap way of doing it. It looks cool, even if it's just Bondo. Okay, so it's got the bike has an 1125 kit turbo pistons, Ray J turbo kit. But it doesn't say what kind of engines in this thing. It looks like a Harley frame, old shovel head frame with an inline four, maybe a Honda engine. Just the way it's built is really cool with the distributor and everything. A couple Enfields. BMW. GS Paris Dakar. ZX6R. It's 96. Looks like something vanilla ice would ride. It's kind of cool. He's got a CBX engine sitting here. There is a CBX in here too. Get some video of it. It's a two stroke V4.
Is that some ankle rotary? This bike. RE5 rotary. Old Suzuki, very unique. Some race bikes up there. Rocon, two wheel drive. Trailbreaker, cool. Very interesting old bikes. Alright, too bad everybody's so shy here. Okay, so like, yeah, you can only see in the windows of the shop. It's too bad he's not around to tell a little bit more about what he's got on the pro for projects on the go. Living the dream. I don't know what the story is of that. <laughs> I don't think I need a mannequin in my shop, but to each their own. Interesting tooling he's got here too, machines. Nineteen thirty S sidecar. That old engine. These cutaways are pretty cool. I'll show you how this works. So these BMWs out here are rental bikes. So anyways, he's got some for sale. You can check his website. 75850 GS. You can rent. It's 160 bucks a day. So anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed that. He's got some really unique stuff here. And it's definitely worth stopping in to see it. I'm going to carry on now. And find out what other interesting things I can see on the on this trip uh, and I'll keep you guys posted so hit that like button and wait for the next video.